Separate facts from the fiction. Lift pussy what's under your engine. Any who we in that we flexing. Try fast, got a nasty addiction. Separate facts from the fiction. Lift pussy what's under your engine. Any who we in that we flexing. Try fast, got a nasty addiction. Chicago to Yabaco, while we wildin', you know we riding. Do it for the fam back on the island. Go so hard, we ain't playing, I promise. MR2, you know how we do. Custom made everything brand new. Hit a red right before the burn. Pullin' off like a scab when he make the turn. Hey, like we fine. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Nasty Addiction Garage. My name is Jeremy. We are back again at Nasty Addiction Garage with um, the green MR2. And what we're doing this time, actually, we're moving on to the driver's side um, wheel wells. So what we did on the passenger side wheel wells was 80 grit sand. Um, after the 80 grit sand, we try to smooth everything out as much as we can with the 80 grit. Um, and then from there, we, are, we went on and added some etching primer. That etching primer actually helps with the bondage of the uh, truck bed liner. And guys, we are using custom coat truck bed liner. All the stuff will be down below. Uh, if you guys have a process that you guys have done using a truck bed liner, shoot me a, a comment, drop me a comment and show me some of your pictures and show me what your results were. Um, but uh, I'm gonna be applying that to the uh, green MR2 and let's see how that goes. But let's jump into part two and uh, get this driver's side done. So let's go. All right, guys, so let's check out what we last did in the last episode. So this here is the uh, passenger side wheel well. So it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. This is after some time. Let me try to get the light. There you go. You guys can kind of see it. So everything is pretty much on etching primer. Check out the rear well as well. The rear well came out pretty good as well. Um, you know, I try to get the etching primer everywhere that I feel that the... Um, the actual truck bed liner is going to hit. So we're moving on now to the driver's side. We still got a couple things to do on the driver's side. We still have to remove our brake line like we did on the passenger side, and I still have to sand a lot of this. What I really want to do is just scuff it up um, so then there's some type of adhesion for doing it with uh, custom coat truck bed liner because I've used that truck bed liner before and it works phenomenal. Um, these are kind of the things that I'm going to be using, actually. Um, this is going to be a 80 grit... 80 grit uh, sanding disc. Uh, I got the Bauer uh, palm sander with a 20 volt battery. Uh, what we're going to be doing is uh, starting the sand, guys. So let's. Right, as you guys can see, I sanded down the majority of everything that needed to be sanded down. So, as you guys notice, I, I did sand these parts a bit more, the lower half, a little bit more than I did the upper half. Um, this is going to actually be lower to the ground. I don't plan on driving this car during uh, any type of winter. Applying it the way it should be, but, you know, it, it, let's make it common sense, right? Like, it, Water will get everywhere in the wheel well, but the majority of what I want to protect is the chassis. So what level of thickness will be different from the, the top and the bottom. And that's just something the way I like to do it. Um, that is not what it says in the manufacturer instructions. So, uh, you know, follow me if you guys like, but, you know, do it your own way or do it how they say. So, I guys, let's jump on now to the back and uh, let's jump in and do the wheel well there. As you guys can see, the wheel well back here is not horrible, but for the most part, this actually looks pretty pretty clean and it's gonna be pretty simple. So I think we can finish this one, um, this wheel well up pretty quickly. I'm gonna move back onto the front and I'm going to actually um, do some etching primer up there and we're gonna do some etching primer back here. Hopefully I have enough etching primer inside that can so then we can finish both of the wells and then I will get another can of etching primer for the undercarriage of the car, which the undercarriage of the car is not bad. And um, if you guys take a look under here, Everything looks pretty clean. So I have to get under there and sand everything. Uh, again, I, I really wanna sand the spots down here just so that I can uh, apply the truck bed liner. I do have to move some of these brake lines. I also have the brake bracket somewhere right there. Um, so I have to remove all this stuff prior to doing that, obviously. So guys, let's jump into this uh, rear wheel well so then we can start moving on to the undercarriage. So let's go. Okay, 
guys, what you guys just seen was that my Bauer Palm Sander battery did die. It is charged now. Uh, I, I kind of fast forward things. It is charged now, but I did go out and pick up a uh, three amp hour battery. Uh, I have all of the undercarriage to do still. And this is a lot. This is a lot of stuff that we still have to do and I have to sand all that. And then I have to sand all that down there as well. I have to kind of sand right under here. Done. I think what I'm gonna do with this heat shield is probably go get it powder coated um, black as well. So uh, let's get to this, guys, and let's uh, get this done. I think I finished the rear driver's side. This looks actually pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go forward and start spraying some. Uh, etching primer on this just so then uh, I don't have to come back and do that. Uh, I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to do a couple, just a couple little sprays um, just to cover all these um, bare spots and anything that I see that can possibly need it. The other carriage is next guys. And I kind of want to show you guys a little something. I'm going to try to get on my Z Creeper here. Ooh, let's see if this is going to work. All right. So, I'm going to try to get a side angle here. So as you guys can see, um, the undercarriage is not that bad. Uh, this is where the fuel tank sits. So this is actually all pretty clean as you guys can see. Um, seems pretty good. Um, all right here does, does seem also clean. Um, I am going to have to remove the emergency brake or the rear brake bracket along with this bracket as well. Taking that line off, make sure all this gets done. Like, dude, let's, we're gonna try to sand this as much, ooh, hold on. We're gonna try to sand as much of this down as we possibly can. Uh, oh, I got a dent here, I did not know that. Look at that dent. I think that's a dent. Yeah, because I don't got it here. Ooh, interesting. Uh, it's going to prove to be a little bit difficult, um, and I'm not sure how I'm going to get good footage here. I'm gonna see if I can probably set the camera probably right here, or maybe angle it in a way where it could be something like this, um, but uh, we'll, we'll figure it out, but let's get to it guys, let's go. Alright guys, so you guys just seen me actually remove all the mechanisms that help with the brake lines, help routing them and positioning them. And that one there is for the e-brake and also helps position and route these uh, brake lines. So these brake lines are for the right and for the left rear. Um, this here is to hold and route the front brake lines along with the or I'm sorry, the e-brake along with the rear brake line. So um, both of them are off, as you guys see. This one is right here. Um, so this is off, that is off. So now it's a nice and clean. Uh, there shouldn't be anything in my way at this point. There's a bracket right back there that uh, holds the, uh, the tank. I think I'm gonna remove that as well because I think I might get that powder coated along with that and um, getting this powder coated as well uh, just so then I have it done. But I'm gonna remove that next. Uh, and then we'll start the sanding guys, so let's get to it. Guys, as you guys can see, first of all, I want to point out these these husky lights. I got them during Black Friday, and these things are amazing because look at how they light up underneath this uh, MR2. I mean, it without them, it would have been extremely hard to try to sand appropriately. But as you guys can see, I got. Let me try to get under here. 
I got the majority of it scuffed up. Let me see. There you go. As you guys can see, I got the majority of it scuffed up. It doesn't need to be all crazy and all like right before if I'm going to put primer on it or something like that. It just needs to be scuffed so then the primer can take. This This is going to be etching primer anyway, so it's going to help. Um, I did do the underneath here. There are some spots that I had to go down to the bare metal um, just because uh, there were some scuffs and some damages. As you guys can see, that's damage there. Um, something It looked like I hit something or something rolled under uh, my uh, MR2 as I was driving because that's dented there and that has a, like a like a little gash looking thing here. But I was able to, you see, sand it down to the bare metal. This is where the etching primer comes in and kind of helps with... Uh, all these bare metal spots, but guys, look at, you could even tell, like even right here, something hit me and it like kind of dented the, the, this little section here. But for the most part, guys, this is pretty much done. Um, what I have left to do is I'm going to actually try to use the rest of that primer on these spots here first, just because uh, I have the other side already primered and it'll be a lot easier for me to just to have the wheel welds primered first. So then I can go ahead and do the application for the, the wheel wells, all four wheel wells actually, uh, first when we move on to our uh, episode three, which would be the application of the uh, custom coat truck bed liner. These are pretty much done. I did go back um, just because I got a bigger battery on the, um, on the Bauer. Uh, I went back and, and there were some spots that were starting to crack up. As you guys can see a little bit, I did sand them back down. I, I will be adding some more etching primer to that as well. Everything is uh, nice and uh, flush and like not looking crap because I really want this to come out well so I'm trying to make sure I do the best that I can. At this point, after I do the uh, etching primer here and the etching primer over there, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let it sit for a day or two. Um, then I'm gonna go down to the undercarriage and I'm going to start etch etching, etch primer, primer etching. And then I'm going to start uh, doing some etching primer to our wheel, wheel wells and get those on primer as quickly as I can. Just because at this point they're done, they're pretty much done and scuffed to the point that they, where they need to be. And as you guys can see, this is going to be like a before the etching primer and then I will show you guys uh, after the etching primer as well, guys. So let's jump into this etching primer and let's go. Um, it's going to conclude our episode for today. Um, I did run out of etching primer, but check it out. I did etch uh, some of these parts or some of these uh, uh, spots here, all the bare metal ones that I could uh, get to. I was able to get to. Same thing for the front. I got some runs in the front because it started to run out. Um, but I'm okay with that because I'm going to re-sand this again with, uh, with the same grit and then do another coat of etching primer just to make sure I get... All the adhesion I need, especially in these areas, just because these areas are going to be uh, the areas I really worry about uh, getting wet and rusted and all that other nonsense. So, guys. All right, guys. So, this is going to conclude today's episode. Uh, with that said and done, I mean, we did a lot of stuff today. We were able to sand down the driver's side, both driver's side well, uh, wheel welds. Uh, we were able to re-sand down the passenger side ones because there were some imperfections that were happening. Um, it looked like the uh, etching primer started to crack a little bit and kind of spider around. So I sanded around that. Um, and after sanding that, then I, I added another little uh, slab of etching primer uh, just to cover that section up. And I did the same thing back here to the passenger side. But these, I did sand everything down and then went ahead and did the rear and the front. Uh, sanded it all down. Got it most the most I can um, you know, as far as sanding, I got in all the areas that I possibly can. Uh, and then I did throw a round of etching primer. I did unfortunately run out of etching primer, which that's going to be okay because what I did was I, I sprayed the areas on the wheel well that, um, had bare metal. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give this time to dry. I'm going to give it about a week or so to dry and we'll get back into the garage and we'll, we'll finish the project on episode three. We should be doing the application of the custom coat, uh, truck bed liner guys. So please stay tuned guys. Remember like, share, subscribe. 
And also, make sure you guys check out the Nasty Addiction uh, merch store. We have a lot of nice t-shirts there. We have men and women, and we are going to start having uh, little kid t-shirts and uh, kid onesies. So make sure you, uh, you know, outfit your baby with the Nasty Addiction Garage stuff, guys. Um, also, uh, stay tuned for the next episode. Uh, I got a couple of different things that are going to be happening. I got some special unboxings to do as well. So stay tuned for all that, guys. Until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. Peace. Separate facts from the fiction. Live hood, see what's under your engine. Any who we in, that we flexing. Try fast, got a nasty addiction. Separate facts from the fiction.